one has a which fit. But if I multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, I'm trying to visualize that right now. That would mean that I would get a tangent squared minus a cotangent squared. And tangent squared minus cotangent squared, well, that's not one of my identities. So rewriting it that way is not going to be too helpful. So I think in this question, if you don't see anything else to do, and please don't do this too quickly. See people do this too quickly sometimes and it makes it way too hard. You can change everything into sines and cosines. And I'm not sure what else to do, so I guess I'll try to add these fractions together. And I'll hope that that works out well for me. And to add fractions, I need a common denominator. So between a denominator of cosine and sine, common denominator would be sine times cosine. So it looks like the left denominator needs the sine multiplied. Denominator needs to be multiplied by sine 2 to keep it balanced. The right denominator needs to be multiplied by cosine. So this numerator needs to be multiplied by cosine. If you're not multiplying the same thing on the top or the bottom, which gives you the size of the fraction. Okay, now I can push all of this together and I can say, well, this would be sine squared plus cosine squared over that common denominator. Well, that's probably a good sign. If you halfway through a question, you see a flag in identity, and you're probably working in this kind of way. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Okay, and now I just got to make this not be some big missing fraction like this. So let's think of this as dividing our fractions. So we've got 1 divided by... So maybe there's a more efficient path in there. Maybe there's something I'm not thinking of. But changing things with sides and cosines usually works, but it often means that you're going to have to add some fractions together, which means you have to get some common denominators together, just to push those together, just to plug in the trig identity. And in this case, we still had to divide our fractions multiple times. So usually changing things with sides and cosines is not an easy path, which is what it's a beautiful path. It's a path that we get us from. So again, the main thing you need to get out of each